in this question we have a sphere inside a cube and we have to find the ratio of the percentage uncertainty in the volume of the sphere and the percentage uncertainty in the volume of the cube. Let's start by finding the percentage uncertainty in the volume of the sphere. For this, let's write down the volume formula for a sphere, which is V is equal to 4 thirds pi times R cubed, where R is the radius. Now, even if you don't remember exactly the volume formula for a sphere, the important concept to note here is that R is cubed in the process of finding the volume. Now, since the diameter of the sphere is 10 plus minus 0 0.2 centimeters, its radius will be half of this, so 5 plus minus 0 0.1 centimeters. Note that we divide the absolute uncertainty by 2 as well. Let's continue by using this concept from subtopic 1.2, which tells us that if in our calculation we are raising a value to a certain power, then the percentage uncertainty in our calculated value will be the power times the absolute uncertainty over the original value that we used in our calculation. The absolute value sign that you see just simply ensures that the percentage uncertainty is always given as a positive value. Let's substitute into this formula to find the percentage uncertainty. n is the power, which is equal to 3. The absolute uncertainty in the radius of the sphere is 0 0.1 centimeters over the radius, which is 5 centimeters. Multiplying by 3, we get 0 0.3 over 5. And an easy way to convert into a percentage is to make the denominator equal to a 100. In order to get a 100 in the denominator, I have to multiply 5 by 20, which means that I will also multiply the numerator by 20. This will give me 6 over a 100, which is equal to 6%. Let's now consider the cube. The volume of a cube is equal to side length to the power of 3. And in this question, side length is equal to 10 plus minus 0 0.2 centimeters. Using the same logic that we have used for the sphere, we will calculate the percentage uncertainty in the volume of the cube. Since n, or the power here, is also 3, in our formula we will substitute 3 times delta A, the absolute uncertainty in the side length, which is 0 0.2, over the side length, which is 10. Multiplying by 3, we get 0 0.6 over 10, which is 6%. Finally, to find the ratio that we are looking for, we need to divide 6% by 6%, which gives us 1. Hence, the answer to this question is B.